What if Goku and Vegeta were born as Gogeta and Vegito? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 8? I will not let you destroy my world! You see this? This is Goku! If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everyone, it's me, Goku! Welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where Goku G23 does his by daily what ifs on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super. Previously on What If Goku and Vegeta were born as Vegito and Gogeta, we mentioned that both Gogeta and Vegeta went towards Supreme Kai's world and they began training with the Z Sword. As a master break in unleashed his old Kai, and with that, the old Kai told him to get a lot stronger and then he'll unleash their potential. A year has passed as they managed to learn the Kai Kai technique from Supreme Kai, but from there they went towards King Kai's world to train while Vegeta went towards Planet Yadra and he trained, and as you know it, they trained for even more as they meet up on planet earth because they have to deal with King Cole. From there, Gogeta and Vegeta continue to get a lot stronger and as a few years has passed but little did they knew, the androids has come to destroy the entire city but they made it just in a nick of time as they confronted the android and from there Piccolo went and killed Dr. Duro while Gogeta and Vegeta easily beat the android without breaking a sweat. Before they could finish the android off, Cell has arrived as he absorbed both of the android and now he has become perfect cell and his power was a lot stronger compared to the canon since he is cell from Gogeta and Vegeta's timeline he has their DNA within him. Gogeta went and uses Kaioken with his super saiyan and he managed to beat the shit out of cell while Vegeta went and uses force spirit fission and he managed to get all the androids to be unfused with cell and they finished him off with the delivering blow. With that both Gogeta and Vegeta made a vow to get a lot stronger for the next few years as they're ready for Supreme Kai to show them where Majin Buu is. What if Goku and Vegeta were born as Gogeta and Vegito part 8? Gogeta and Vegito decide to make a vow to do everything they can to get much stronger within the next 7 years since they wanted to do everything they can to make sure they're both stronger than one another and that they want to always remain on top in case anything happens they're always there to protect planet earth. Although they are very proud Saiyans they do not like the idea of fusing like they did against Frieza where they had to use Gogeta. They only want to use that if it's very very critical of moment but to make sure that moment doesn't come they decide to do everything they can to get much stronger as they both went and they entered the hyperbolic time chamber together and they begun training and as you know it their seven year training spree has begun within those seven years when it comes to Gogeta's son Gotenks he has grown into a teenage as his power continues to increase and he is just like his father he wants to continue to train while Vegito and Boma just had a child within those 7 year gap and now the child is a 7 year old boy and they want to make him be as strong as Gogeta's son but they can't because he has a higher age gap than him. But when it comes to Vegito and Gogeta, they became one of the strongest sparring partner with one another. They continue to work together to try to get stronger but when it comes to teamwork, no one will be able to beat them when they come to teamwork because they were able to study each other's move and technique and able to even link their spirit in case something bad happens they will be able to work together. Once when they finally finish their training spree and they are all relaxing, Supreme Kai has Kai Kai to planet earth to enjoy some food and from there he wants to speak with Gogeta and Vegito. Since it has been a long time he has noticed that they have finally located Majin Buu's whereabout and that he is on planet earth. Upon hearing that got Vegito and Gogeta a little surprised as they couldn't believe that Majin Buu is here and when it comes to Piccolo, he did everything he can to keep up with Gogeta and Vegito and that he was able to increase his power a lot. Thanks to training with Vegito and Gogeta, Piccolo continued to get stronger and he was able to even achieve a new form. Once when they heard the danger about Majin Buu still being there, Supreme Kai then told him that he knew the exact location as Gogeta and Vegito were excited to go and see just how powerful this Majin Buu is. Piccolo also wanted to come as they all went and they Kai Kai right towards Babidi's spaceship. Once when they got there, they saw that King Deborah was already there along with Babidi and at the same time got Supreme Kai to a little trip out because he saw Majin Buu was already hatched. Once when he saw that, he began to say, No, but how? He was not supposed to be hatched. 
Oh wow, so that f pink f blob is Majin Buu, I guess? <laughs> and here we thought that he'll be someone strong. But this makes no sense! It makes a lot of sense, Supreme Kai. After all, me and Vegito are very powerful. Our energy was gave him enough boost to hatch from his egg. That explains why over the last seven years I felt some strange energy, but I decided to ignore it. Tch, <laughs> why did you ignore it if you could've checked it out? Well, where's the fun in that now? After all, I'm not worried, are you? Yeah, <laughs> no way. With that, they went and they confronted Bobby and Majin Buu. As Bobby told King Deborah to go and turn him into stone, and before he can, Piccolo went and he decked King Deborah right in his face, getting to be sent flying meters away, and he passed out. With that, Bobby saw just how strong they were, but he told Majin Buu to go and attack. Majin Buu went and he rushed right towards Gogeta as he tried to attack him but Gogeta dodged him and with that Gogeta went and kneed him right in his face getting Majin Buu to be sent flying meters away. Majin Buu then got up as Gogeta was easily making sports out of him. Seeing that he didn't stood a chance against Gogeta got Majin Buu to be really angry as he began to blow a lot of steam and before you know it Majin Buu ended up releasing Evil Buu that was within him as those two didn't like each other you know how it is evil and good they want to fight and that's exactly what happened and once when they fought Evil Buu won the battle as he managed to go and absorb Majin Buu and now he has become Super Buu. So, you guys want to fight with Majin Buu? Then bring it on. Oh, <laughs> you see that? Wow, he managed to lose weight very fast. Who needs any dietitian when you can just do this to lose weight? <laughs> well then, let's fight me. What do you say, Majin Buu? Without any warning, Majin Buu rushed right towards Gogeta. As he tried to strike him, but the same thing happened. Gogeta went and he beat the shit out of Majin Buu. As Majin Buu didn't stood a chance against Gogeta despite the fact that he has become Super Buu and with that he began to stress out as he couldn't believe just how powerful Gogeta was but he saw one way out and that is to absorb Gogeta. Majin Buu did his dirty trick and he managed to go and unleash some of his goo as Gogeta didn't see it coming and next you know Gogeta has now been absorbed within Majin Buu making him completely a different warrior. <laughs> yes, yes, this power is so amazing, wow, no wonder I couldn't beat him, he is so strong, oh god, his energy has to increase a lot, <laughs> yes it has, behold the power of Majin Buu, now you are going to die next, with that Majin Buu went and rushed right towards Vegito and he striked him, getting Vegito to be sent flying meters away. But Jiro then went and did a backflip as he went and screamed. Vegito has now gone and transformed into his Super Saiyan 2 as he showed just a little bit of a display of his power and said, Okay then, you have absorbed my friend, it's time I get all of them back. Ha, you're too weak, I'll still handle. Before Majibu could say another word, Vegito went and kicked him right in his face, getting to be sent flying meters away. Vegito then followed as he decked him right across his face, and with that he powered up his fist as he went and used the Force Spirit Fission on Majin Buu. Once when he unleashed the first wave, Vegito saw that Gogeta has been separated from Majin Buu along with Evil Buu getting him to revert right back to his original form. With that he then went and used it again as he saw that Majin Buu went and spat out the old Supreme Kai who finally came out of Majin Buu reverting Majin Buu right back to Kid Buu. Once when he did, Kid Buu was out of control as he was about to go and destroy the planet since he had no conscience whatsoever but Jito went and shined a blast right towards Kid Buu as it hit him head on and he died right there. Vegito, thanks to his Force Spirit Fission, managed to go and save the day as he saved Gogeta's bacon and with that he looked towards him and said, <laughs> Looks like I saved your bacon yet again, Gogeta. <laughs> what could I do without you, Vegito? Thank you. As both of them got up and with that, they managed to go and end Majibu once and for all. 
Supreme Kai couldn't believe what he saw as he was extremely happy and with that they all went to celebrate but little did they knew. Far in the galaxy, the destroyer known as Beerus the destroyer has fully woken from his slumber as he got all the knowledge from Whis about who Vegito and Gogeta are and with that he was very curious to go and see if they are the Super Saiyan God. Whis then told him that he should not get hopes for the Super Saiyan God but Beerus wanted to do that as he wanted to neglect all of his destroyer work and he wanted to go towards planet earth to confront to see if Gogeta or Vegito are the Super Saiyan God. With that, Whis went and he made his way with Beerus to worst planet Earth. On Earth, Gogeta and Vegito has not finished their meal as they all relax and with that King Kai quickly went and he alerted Gogeta telling him that something is coming to worst planet Earth and that something is no one other than Beerus the Destroyer. Once when Gogeta heard that he had no idea what Beerus the Destroyer is or who he is whatsoever but from there he has been told that Beerus is coming to see if they are the Super Saiyan God. After getting King Kai's warning, Vegito then was informed about what happened as he was also surprised to hear that a destroyer god is coming to confront them and next thing you know, Beerus has now arrived towards planet earth. Once when he did, he looked towards him and said, Well well, if it isn't Vegito and Gogeta, I heard so much about you two. Huh? So I take it you're Beerus a destroyer, huh? Oh, someone knows about me too, huh? Yeah, you bet we know about you. And we also hear that you're some type of destroyer god. Is that true? Of course it is. I'm a destroyer for Universe 7. But I have come here to see if any of you guys know anything about a Super Saiyan God. Super Saiyan God? No. It doesn't ring a bell. Ha, huh, bummer. Here I thought that I'll be able to fight a Super Saiyan God. But I guess that didn't happen. With that, Beerus saw that Broly, Nappa, and even Raditz has finally come as they returned from their training session and they came just a nick of time. Broly then looked towards Beerus and said, What is going on here? Who is he? He is Beerus the Destroyer, some type of Destroyer God. Tell me, Saiyan, are you also a Super Saiyan God or do you know nothing about that either? What the heck is that? Uh, I told you, my lord. You just wasted your time. Well then, how about this? Since you guys wasted my time, I'm gonna go and destroy this entire world. There's no point of having planet Earth stay in this place to begin with. What was that? <laughs> you tried to destroy my Earth? Over my dead body! Vegito went and he screamed. <laughs> Vegito and Gogeta went and they directly transformed into their Super Saiyan 3. Will this power be enough to stop Beerus the Destroyer? With Gogeta and Vegito finally achieving the power of Super Saiyan 3, will they have an ending to destroy Beerus? Or will Beerus manage to overcome their power and destroy them once and for all? To find out what happens, you're gonna have to click the bell, my Z fans, as we have an epic showdown with Gogeta and Vegito vs. Beer is the destroyer. If you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you guys waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it and please subscribe to my boy Vegeta T23, helping get up to 10,000 subscribers. Please everyone, subscribe to Goku T23. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you haven't already, please click the bell, that way you will be notified when the next video comes out. Trust me click the bell, it's worth your time. And if you feel like this channel isn't for you in the future, you can always unsubscribe.